Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to computer class. So we'll continue to the topic that we have finished earlier. Okay. So in our previous class, uh, I have explained you about the uses of internet. Okay. You check the uh, video that I have uh, made before. In that video, I have uh, explained you about the uses of the internet. Okay. So today we are going to start a new topic that is uh, how to connect the internet. So all of you take out page number 78. Take out page number 78. Uh, we are going to start a new topic that is uh, how to connect the internet. Okay, so all of you look at your textbook. Look at your textbook and then now let's uh, read out the paragraph. Some important devices are required for connecting the internet on your computer system, such as modem, telephone line, internet service provider, and web browser. All the devices and softwares are necessary to require to link each other. Let us know about them. Okay, so in this paragraph it is about how to connect our computer to the internet okay so for our computer to connect to the internet we needed some uh, device and software okay what are they the device that is needed to connect our computer to the internet are modem and a telephone line okay now see the first thing that we needed is a modem okay now the picture of modem is given in, in uh, it, it is given there you can uh, see it now these are all the pictures of modem okay the purpose of modem is for connecting the computer to the internet okay after modem what you have after modem we have the telephone line okay now see the telephone line is basically used for transferring data from one computer to another computer okay in the same way uh, for uh, using the internet or for connecting our computer to the internet telephone line is needed okay so that the computer can easily uh, connect to the internet with the help of the modem okay see this telephone line is basically uh, connected to the modem okay they are connected to the modem which is again connected to our computer okay okay so as i was saying the telephone line are used for transferring data from one computer to another computer okay in the same way uh, the telephone line is also needed for connecting our computer to the internet okay and the telephone line are basically connected uh, through the modem th that we were using before okay this telephone line are connected to the modem okay by connecting uh, to the modem only our computer can connect to the internet okay just simply a modem is not enough okay you needed a modem as well as a proper telephone line okay by these two only uh, our computer can now connect to the internet okay so these were the device that are needed for connecting to the internet okay and again uh, you needed some software software is uh, this one your internet service provider and the web browser okay now these are the two software that is uh, needed for our computer to connect the internet now what is an internet service provider an internet service provider is uh, that software that provides internet service to to us okay i'm again repeating see the internet service provider or in the short form it is also known as isp okay in the short form it is also known as isp uh, isp means internet service provider by the name itself it is saying what service provider isn't it internet service provider that means uh, they are those uh, company that or those software that uh, give us or that provides us internet service okay for example, uh, Airtel, Geo, Vodafone, BSNL. Okay, they are all exam. They are all the example of 
internet service provider what does this airtel geo or bsnl do they provide us internet isn't it like uh, we will pay the recharge for like one month two months like that and then uh, they will give us the uh, internet service for like uh, for one day two gb or for per day uh, one gb like that depending on uh, which uh, recharge we are doing isn't it so they are what they are basically giving giving us the internet service okay so uh, so our computer also needed such uh, internet service provider okay without any internet service simply uh, connecting our computer with the device is not enough okay the internet service should also be there so that we can uh, we can connect our computer to the internet okay after that what is the last one the last one is the web browser now uh, the web browser is uh, needed for browsing the internet or for using the internet from our computer see uh, if our computer has established the internet connection or if our computer has successfully uh, connected to the internet then to use the internet from our computer we needed some internet browser isn't it like uh, mozilla firefox or uh, google chrome or opera mini like that uh, op like that a web browser is needed isn't it without the web browser we will not be able to use the internet right uh, just like uh, same case in the smartphone also uh, in our uh, smartphone we needed the internet browser or the web browser to use the internet isn't it like uh, if you want to watch uh, some youtube or if you want to visit facebook also the proper web browser is needed isn't it and again or if you want to send some email or if you want to uh, find use the uh, this one if you want to search something from the google also you have to enter or you have to use the web browser isn't it so these are all the uh, software or, or device that is needed to use or to connect the internet okay so what was the first one the first one was uh, the modem okay the first one is modem after that the telephone line okay after telephone line the internet service provider or isp and the last one is the web browser okay so these are the four main things that is uh, needed for connecting the internet for our computer okay so you have to remember these four things okay these are the four uh, device uh, sorry these are the uh, four device and software that is uh, needed to connect our computer to the internet okay and then all these uh, device and software they have to be linked together okay they have to be linked to each other if there is no link or if they are not connected to each other then the proper internet connection will not be there okay you see uh, in the picture that is given page number 79 the picture is given as you can see clearly see in the picture it is given clearly uh, that first you have the the person that is using the internet or the person uh, that the person that is using the computer after that you have the modem then third one is the telephone line after that you have the internet okay see from the picture it is uh, trying to uh, tell us that if if we want to connect our computer to the internet the first thing we needed is a modem okay the first thing we needed is a modem after that a proper telephone line should be there okay but in this picture telephone is given isn't it, it telephone picture is given uh, because it is trying to tell us that the proper telephone connection or the telephone line is needed for our uh, modem so that it will be able to uh, easily connect to the internet okay then after telephone line uh, if there is a proper telephone line then it will uh, it will connect our computer towards the internet okay see in the picture uh, the, the picture of internet is given about uh, this uh, planet art isn't it the planet art uh, the picture of planet art is given in the internet why because internet is uh, internet is basically a global network isn't it global network means the network that is uh, present all over the world right the, pre, uh, the network that is present all over the world so the picture of internet is given 
art about the planet art okay okay so students uh, that's it for today then we'll continue the next topic in our next class okay thank you so much